your linen situation? Are your sheets and towels stored in piles? Does it look anything like this disaster? Who would have a closet looking like this? Like, come on, really? Okay, it's time to admit. <laughs> this is mine. This is my area. My wife took these pictures this, pictures this morning. She's quite concerned that we're showing these on TV. But I say it's on me because I do do a lot of the laundry and stuff. And a lot of the time when it has a door, I throw things in there and I shut the door and forget about it. Oh, no. I need help. Luckily, we have professional organizer Megan Arthurs back on the show. Help me. <laughs> Busted. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so is that something you do see a lot, though? Very common. So the, the linen closet is a landing zone for the most common and frequently used items in the home. Yeah. Your towels, your bed sheets. So it's really important that this space is highly functional, organized, tidy, and trendy. Like you wanted to to speak to you. You wanted to cherish the space so you can really maintain organization. But nobody else really sees it. No one does, but when it's organized, you're saving time rather than going in there and looking for it. Yes. Because like in our place, we don't have that much space to store things, but those are two areas where things kind of just get thrown in there. Yes. Okay, is that common? Because I'm generally not, I, I think we're pretty neat people. Like for the rest of the house is pretty clean. Those areas aren't. So what do we do? How do you help us out? Okay, it's common. You're not alone. So okay. the first step is really decluttering. So you want to take everything out of the closet and many people are a little bit scared of this step because essentially you're creating a mess but you want to make piles on the floor okay. with like items together so putting all of your bath towels together all of your bed sheets together so you can really see what you have and also not forgetting to have a donation pile so I'll say a lot yeah. of people think you know this towel or this linen it's a little bit worn we don't use it anymore and they think oh just garbage but a lot of animal hospitals animal shelters they will take used linens towels pillows so oh okay yes. that's a good point because like, you, sometimes when people are donating things you're donating things you're just like well somebody else wouldn't want that exactly but, so but that's somewhere yes. where, it, where, where, where it could go mm -hmm. it's getting rid of some things that are close to you that maybe you had for a long time that's another thing that there's some issues with and getting it out of there but you yes. do need to get that stuff out of there you have to get the stuff out of there you want to use the space for its main purpose and function which okay. is really for storing the linens okay um, like containers that you have kind of in front of us is that a good way to kind of yes. when you're setting stuff back in there yes so let's talk about product I'm a big okay. fan of product and I know some people think well why it's a linen closet there's a door no one sees it but product helps you contain your items so if items are free floating on a shelf meaning they're just sitting on a shelf it's really hard for you to maintain organization because you're not going to take the time to make sure the piles are neat again and things are being put back well that was the issue in the, that armoire that you saw with, yes. the, with the towels because yes. they're like the shelf well the shelf kind of went a little wonky yes. and then it just like the shelf disappeared it did. And then it just the towels just kind of kept stacking up so like suggestions when you when, yes. when it so comes what to product I have here so all the pro product I have here is actually from home sense so I'm staying okay. on budget but I'm also staying trendy and baskets were great so baskets for your sheet sets your towels um, different size towels I have different size here and they're really they're, like, they're nice to look at too and what I like about these is that they're versatile so they work good in my linen closet they could work good in my family room they could work good in my bedroom closet and another thing that a lot of families do keep in their linen closet is first aid and medicine and injury type items which is a good place for it because it's oh. a common space so I have some cute caddies here and these are great too because they're compartmentalized so um, okay, we, we're seeing some that? B roll. That's okay. good. So, yeah, so there's different compartments that you can put your items in, and they're transferable. So, you can take them from room to room are in your you, home. Are you getting that at HomeSense too? Yeah, this is from HomeSense. Okay. Yes. And, and nothing too expensive. Like yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty all on budget. Yeah. Because sometimes I think when, when it comes to closet, you need like a whole organized system. You don't need that. Well, no, you don't need that. You, yeah, people over overthink it sometimes. Simple basket. Um, if you don't want to spend a ton of money, I mean, you, you, I'm sure you have boxes in your home that you could use to store towels in. Okay. When you're organizing things, do you organize it like, so we have, there's three kids, there's us, like are you organizing it that way where everybody has their own little area? Well, there's different ways to do it. So you can do everyone's own set if everyone has their own sheet sets or towel sets. Right. I like separating it versus bath towels versus sheet sets and I like labeling things. <laughs> you're like that too, aren't you, Nat? <laughs> Yeah, she she's nodding her head. Yes, you've, <laughs> you've talked to her that before. You know, you have very similar 
<laughs> you and Annette are very similar. <laughs> we do. We both love our labels. Oh, and you have like you're you're putting the labels right on there like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And this is really nice if you have house guests as well, right? Because you, you don't want to go sleep at someone's house and they say, "Help yourself to the linen closet," and you open it and you're like, "Well, oh, what we linen?" Oh, we would never <laughs> say that to anybody in our place. Um, cool, Megan. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, is there any opening in your schedule to come by? <laughs> do you see you next week? Yeah, right. Okay. Um, good stuff. Thanks. Uh, okay, I have a busy day. I know what I'm doing today. Megan Arthur, professional horror organizer on Morning Live. Thanks, Tim.